What's going on YouTube? Big Jer, back with you guys again. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about split stereo panning in Ableton 9. So with Ableton 10 coming out, split stereo panning has put into the light that we are not actually panning with Ableton 9. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so what do I mean we're not really panning in Ableton Live 9? Well, you know what? Let me show you. So I've, I'm only going to spend a quick second on this because I've talked about this in a couple other videos, um, but I'm going to spend most of the videos showing us how to make a rack to fix this. Cool. So I made a quick little loop here, and uh, on one side, panned hard to the side is uh, cowbells, and, to, and panned hard to the other side is uh, shakers. Let's listen to this. Now, if I was going over to my pan pot, um, and I wanted to pan everything to the left, you would assume that now both the cowbells and the shakers would move to the left, but where'd my cowbells go? And if I go all the way to the right, where'd my shakers go? So apparently this is doing like a volume jockey type thing, right? Which is not panning uh, and disappointing. <laughs> so this was updated in Ableton Live 10, but for those of us who maybe don't have the money right away to get Ableton Live 10 when it comes out or the interest, uh, I wanted to give you guys another option, right? I wanted to give you guys an option to have true stereo panning inside of your DAW right now, today. It's not really asking too much. <laughs> cool, so let me show you how to do it. All right, let's take a look at what this rack does and then I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's go over here to my user library and I'm gonna bring in my true stereo rack. Okay, true stereo rack, love it. So let's check it. I got left, right, gain, and mono uh, stereo, okay? So I got like a little bit of everything on here that you could need. So let's, uh, let's see if this works, right? Amazing. And then uh, this guy is just going to um, introduce negative gain or just reduce the gain. Okay, and this one right here is going to be a stereo mono switch, so I can go ahead and adjust it from stereo or what it was naturally more to a mono um, situation. Awesome. So let's make this rack together. I'll show you guys how to do it. So let's get that ready. It's not very hard. We'll make it in a couple of minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, utility, and we're actually going to put it in a group with command G. And I'm going to open up my chains right here. I'm going to duplicate my chains with command D, okay? And then I'm going to rename this with command R. I'm going to rename this one left. And I'm going to go down and rename this one right. Perfect. So we're looking good, right? First thing we need to do is switch this to left. So we're just getting the left signal out of this. And over here, we're going to grab the right signal. Okay, perfect. So I can go put up my macros now and we can start mapping stuff over. So let's turn map on and I'll map this panorama here over to the first macro and I'll do the same thing with the right, but I'll map it to the second macro. Okay, so if I come out of map mode, now, we, uh, now we've got left and right right here. You know what, but I figure let's, let's go the extra mile for you guys. This is technically all you need, but um, you know what? A lot of us, I noticed a lot of uh, beginner producers um, automate the volume over here. And it's kind of a no-no because, well, like anything else, just guidelines. You could do whatever you want. But this will make it harder to adjust overall volumes later if there's automation on the actual track volume. So I'm going to make one inside of our rack here so you could kind of use it instead of that. So what I'm going to do is actually pull a utility down, but we're going to put it outside of the rack. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do a rack inside of a rack. So command G, don't be afraid. It's not that big of a deal, rack inside of a rack. And the first thing we need to do is map over these guys. So I'll hit map over here and I'll go ahead and select this guy and map it over and select this guy and map it over here. While I'm at it, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to map over the gain. The gain's going to be mapped over and I'm going to map over the width. Okay, but now I need to go over here into my um, minimum maximum settings and adjust a few things. 
Okay, so this gain, I actually don't want it to start at negative 35 and I don't want it to go up 35 dB. Okay, I want it to just go from zero to 30, negative 35. But again, I don't want it to start down here at the bottom. That's gonna make it confusing for us to use. So I'm gonna go over here and right click and invert the range. And now it starts at zero. And as I pull it up, it actually brings the volume down. Same thing with the stereo um, separation, right? Uh, I don't want it to go all the way up to 200 because that takes us past stereo. And though might be usable for what you want, um, for this rack, I don't think it's the best thing to do. So I've done all my mappings here. Oh, right, one last thing is I don't want it to start at mono. I want it to start at stereo. And we know to do that, we just go over here and invert the range, okay? So let's get out of map mode, and I could actually close a lot of this down. In fact, I don't really need anything beside this rack area here. Okay, we can go ahead and name the rack. True stereo rack, okay. You can call it true stereo pan rack, whatever you want. And I'm gonna switch this to left, and this to right. And gain's good, and we'll call this uh, stereo to mono, because that's what it is, stereo to mono. So, and you can go ahead and color these guys if you like. You know, like up here we can make these pink, and I think I made this one blue, you know, and then, you, you know, maybe yellow or something here, great. Cool, so now let's go ahead and double check this. Oh, let me start like that. Mm -hmm. And this is how I would save your rack, okay? Because it's gonna come in just like regular. Well, there you go. You got this rack here, guys. Um, I may or may not make it available in the downloads. I haven't decided yet, but it'll take two seconds for you guys to make. If you really want it, you can leave a comment. Um, cool. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll keep them coming. You keep subscribing. All right, guys. I'll catch you soon.